Hi, I would like to show how to find proteins that are related to your favorite protein. And uh, my favorite protein is uh, 4ZW9. And I'm going to, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to find it on the NCBI databases using a web interface and then use BLAST-P to find protein sequences that are related. So no DNA stuff here. Well, let's go to NCBI. Um, and I'll also be Googling inst instead of using the, or ducking it, instead of the having preloaded URLs. Um, so I'm going to just copy paste this thing here and only the protein name. I'm going to click that it's a protein. Actually, it uses a different database. So um, the cool thing about NCBI nowadays, it has a diffuse search. Um, so you can actually leave out the protein will also give you this. So here we have our protein. So there are two. And I'm going to use the first one. Just click on it. And that brings me to the page about this protein. So uh, that's great. I already have the sequence. Here it is. And now I'm going to find related sequences. To do that, you go to the right side. There's run blast. So BLAST you would associate probably with genomic sequences, but if you for protein you run BLAST, it probably starts a P or a BLAST P, yeah here, yeah, BLAST P for proteins. Um, and um, so you need to pick a database. So I use the protein data bank because I use a protein. I am only interested in humans in this case. I exclude these two because I didn't know what they were. Perhaps I should exclude this one as well, I don't know. Um, I use the default one and you blast it and now it is going to look for protein sequences that are related to my protein and this takes a couple of seconds um, it also updates after two seconds so that's great um, of course it's always a guess how long it will um, how long this will take from your favorite protein uh, I know this takes only about a couple of seconds so that's great. So this protein, I got it from rcbs.org um, because it shows like membrane proteins. I like that. Uh, that's why I like it shows you like the structures of, pro of, of proteins. So I like to, I wanted to pick a high resolution um, structurally known protein. All right. So, um, my search is still busy. That's a bit dull. And it is still updating every two seconds. Yeah, so what I did on the uh, protein data bank is I looked for proteins that have the highest resolution. Um, so I wanted the Homo sapiens protein. Uh, you could set the refinement of the resolution, and I took the, like, I wanted to have 12 or not too many. Then I found all these amino acid friends. All right, it's done. That's great. So it takes about a minute for this query. And what we then see here is that there are four sequences that are related. You see the percentage that are of them that are identical. And I'm interested in getting the multiple sequence alignment. So we can take a look how that looks. Um, but I'm only interested in, in alignments. And here we can see how it displays. So here it shows a, in a pairwise alignment. But I like to use um, I like to use this view. It doesn't matter for what we'll be downloading, but it will show you um, how these proteins uh, are aligned with the dots being that it's the same as the number above. So if you see a, a character here, you know it's a point mutation. All right, I'm going to download the aligned sequence. You know, you see it falls a bit off the screen, but it says aligned sequence probably. And I'm going to download it. Um, it creates a file called secdump.txt. I'm just going to open it with a text editor so you can see what it looks like. All right, so here I've gotten for my favorite protein, uh, the multiple sequences alignment of all the four or of all of them that are related. So I hope that was useful and I wish you a very good day. Bye.